Wolf one here bringing you another episode of They Are Billions. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this game. I know I am, certainly. It's been pretty rough. I still have yet to beat a map, but I, uh, I know they did in their update. I know they changed the difficulty to where you could unlock the other maps earlier. But, personally, I think I'm just going to stick with it and see uh, how far I can get before it kind of drives me insane. So, guys, let's go ahead and uh, load us up our game. I actually was just playing another game and got to day 92, the last wave, and uh, did not pay attention to some of my defenses and, well, lost my base. So, fun joys there. Alright, now it's been a while since I've, uh, okay. Alright, so I see where we're at, where we're kind of expanding. Uh, looks like I need to drop some walls. I do need to start expanding more and, uh, dropping defenses a whole lot quicker. I've kind of learned that throughout this game, so. Uh, kind of diving back into it, I do see, we got a sawmill going, another sawmill. Uh, next thing would be, we're going to want to get a stone mill, or a quarry going. I'm going to go ahead and keep expanding, so I'm going to drop some more troops out. Uh, looks like we need energy. Oh, is that what I was doing? Let's go ahead and cancel those people then. And let's get some energy going. Where can I stick that? And stick that right there. Uh, so, one thing I've learned on this game, guys, is you've got to expand very rapid. you got to be very, very quick about it. I failed on countless occasions because I haven't expanded rapidly enough or I kind of box myself in with resources. So, it does make it rough. I, I will say if there's any, you know, tips I can give as you guys play this game, I, expand, 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 and be very, very aggressive. Push, push, push a lot. Leave. Where were we pushing out? Let's grab this uh this ranger over here, this archer, and see where we were kind of pushing out. That way, I have a good idea. One thing I would recommend also is expand and gather these oil, uh, little oil plateaus, derricks. Um, you will need them. There are. The units that you're going to need are more like a Thanatos, Titans, stuff like that, and they rely on oil. Plus, if you're going to do any advanced mills or advanced quarries to help boost your production, you're going to need oil for that as well. I've kind of limited myself there on a few playthroughs, so. I will, like I said, guys, just, again, be aggressive, be aggressive. So, let's go ahead and explore what we have down here. Okay, so we got a few zombies that way. Zeds, man. They get to you, you know? But I'm not gonna lie, this game has, uh, it is very challenging. Challenging. It is annoying me that I have yet to beat one of the maps, so. Yeah, I keep trying, because, again, to me, it's very annoying that I have yet to beat a map. Where can I stick this? I'll actually stick it down here where I can pay attention to it. Actually, since I have two archers over there, drop one there as well. Now I'm going to make you patrol differently. Um, with that being said, guys, if there's any of you playing this game or... Oh, okay. Or if there's any of you guys that... Are playing this game or have any tips or tricks or comments yeah certainly drop them let me know because that way I can get better at it and possibly stop this frustration of not being able to beat a map I think I'll actually extend out here first capture all this area capture this this gives me fishing huts and enough room that I could put some more houses down as well and some farmland. Uh, I will say farms are very critical on this game, so. 
always going to recommend that you, uh... Is everything okay? Yeah. Make sure you guys uh, have some farmland, the green land right there. I always recommend it. I've tried to get by with just hunter cottages and fishing uh, huts, but it, it really doesn't work, guys. It makes it a whole lot rougher, so... Um, learn farms are very important, especially in the later stages. Farms are probably the most important. Looks like I'm going to lose a ranger there. Drop a few more rangers down. Some more, some more archers would be very helpful to keep myself protected while I expand. So come on, day four. There is a chance we'll start getting a wave here shortly. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can gather these supplies. Don't really need the iron right now, but the gold will help. I just kind of wait for that. Uh, the next thing I would look at is a stone quarry. There's four stone quarry there. Ooh, that'll be a five or a six. Three, five, five. Go ahead. We'll we'll stick with the we'll stick with the four for now. Keep it kind of close to the base. If we need to. We can always grab that one there later. We'll keep this archer kind of scouting around, seeing where our next areas to go are. Just kind of plan in advance. I believe I was saying earlier. Okay. This map might be a bit difficult and. We'll see. We're looking for some more pinch points, hopefully. It's going to help us out a whole lot more. Uh, more workers. I think, I think right there uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop, and then I'll start putting in some walls for defenses before the first wave comes. Personally, I'm not too worried about the first wave. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to get through, especially if you're on top of your game. Um making sure you're paying attention and expanding pretty rapidly I don't know it I don't know if that's correct or not but when I expand especially pretty pretty fast it seems to throw off the map and the AI so but if any of you guys know the exact answer to that certainly drop a comment let me know uh, looks like this archer is gonna start getting rushed a bit more um, it, they might actually start probing some walls now because we're close to day five, so maybe it is best that I start working on some walls here. Plenty of gold and plenty of wood for it, so it's just going to be how do I want to put them for now. Um, no, actually, I'm not too worried. I won't. I won't put any walls down yet until I know exactly which way they're coming from. Until I'm done dropping these Tesla towers here. Mm. Where do I want to place this one? I think right there. In case you guys were kind of wondering, out here is where I'm just looking where I could put my gate, keep the green stuff for farms. And also keep enough room for defenses like uh, turrets or ballistas, I'm sorry. And also being able functionality to get troops through there in case I need to move some troops down there during a wave. So we'll go ahead, we'll keep taking our archers. I want to keep exploring, seeing where else to go. I know out in this area we're seeing a few hordes. I believe there's going to be a horde up there, and I believe there's a horde out here. I'm just hoping none of them... I'm just hoping we're not close to a zombie base. Uh, I have triggered a few waves from the zombie bases, just kind of exploring, and completely ended a game pretty quickly. So, I will say if you guys run into any... I believe they're called City of, City of Doom. 
I would say be careful. Ah, see, we're right next to one, and I'm gonna lose an archer. Hopefully not, and hopefully I can kind of attract a crowd and make them die off. If you do run through and you get to certain areas, they will start dying off because you run too fast, or you just get too far away from them. That is a lot of runners. Uh, that worries me. I think I might have just ended our map. Hoping not. Uh, it's a good thing that I started pumping out some more archers. I will say that. Oh no, it looks like we're fine. It looks like the horde kind of died off a little bit. I will move them up a little bit and have them start clearing anyway, since I do need to start getting some walls down. Uh, yeah. Oh, one thing I need to check, so I know where to expand, is these iron reserves. I do need those to expand and build certain troops like more soldiers or snipers and it doesn't look like I really have any close at hand looks like I would have to expand up here and do it from there uh, with this Tesla tower being dropped I'm gonna go ahead and just drop a wall here now start getting some protection especially because that city of doom is so close All right, so I have a wall there. That makes me a bit happier. I'll just have you guys keep clearing. Next thing I want to look at is a workshop. I need 10 workers, 40 wood. Wood's going good. Workers, I need more workers there. For workers, I need more food. With that. Tesla tower. I believe I should be able to. I'll get a food there, and I'll just move you back a little bit closer to protect it, and you go ahead and move this archer out here and have them patrol a bit further. Looks like I'll start dropping a wall out this way as well, and this one's going to be a little rough. I'm unsure what to do here. I've learned very, very big, long walls. The game is pretty rough. Oh, my archers are getting attacked. Let's move them back a little bit. And as you can see, this is kind of what I mean by triggering a wave from the city too quickly. Uh, with the runner zombies, you know, your archers, unless they're veterans, they really aren't going to be able to handle them too well, so they will take a lot of damage, and chances are you're going to lose them. So, it looks like we'll wall off here for now, wall off here for now, wall off down here for now, and actually push and expand this way. Um, that'll give us a good opportunity, good chance to keep going, especially with resources. Like I said, I'm going to really need these, so I need to keep expanding and looking for some bigger ones. It's too early to take the City of Doom out or the Zombie Village out just yet. Certainly don't have enough troops for that. In fact, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just start working on my walls now. I need another Tesla Tower. So we'll drop this one here. And then I can just drop a wall there. I won't need the oil derricks just yet. I won't need them till later on in the game. But since we are kind of getting closer to the first wave, I want to start getting more situated. And closing things off in case anything bad happens, I guess. Uh, we'll drop a wall here for now. Honestly, this wall will get destroyed pretty quickly. Kind of the boring part about the first part of the game is just kind of sitting back watching, waiting for resources. Alright, we'll drop that off right there. I'll leave a little opening for my archers to go through in case they need be. Like I said, we'll drop a wall here. And in fact, I got a Tesla tower out there. It's going to take me four more workers. We have three. Okay, so we'll drop another house. 
Eh, we'll drop two more houses. Three, I guess. Drop some houses, wait for the workers to build up. Um, and then I'm possibly going to start looking at getting another wood mill going, or sawmill. Help bolster my wood count. Go ahead and drop that there. Just a little bit more protection makes me a little bit happier. I don't know. Truthfully, if I got if I had to do this for a job, like the zombie apocalypse did happen, and they said, "Hey, we need you to b manage this town, put up a fight, and survive for this many days," I don't I don't think I could do it. I think I'd I'd have to pass. Sorry, guys. Too much responsibility. I can't handle that. I don't know, you guys think you could manage it, handle the stress, the burden of it? Knowing that if you made a mistake, your whole village could collapse and everyone could die or be infected by zombies? Personally, I couldn't. That's, that's too much, much responsibility. I think if anything, I'd, I'd just be happy going out and killing zombies. That would be my civil duty. That's what I would do, and I'd be happy doing it. Wouldn't ever complain about it. Okay, so we'll finish off this we'll finish off this wall down here. Oh, there's a zombie close to it. I won't be able to finish it. Come here, Archer. Kill that zombie. Let me finish off my wall here. Looks like they're starting to make their way up from the city this way as well. Uh, that's one thing I will say. The AI is pretty pretty smart is it pokes and prods on all directions that it can find out where your weakest point is get to you eat your brains eat your village's brains running into a food issue again let's see if I can drop one over here oh I can go for a 14 right there that's nice I like that extra foods more people's Drop another sawmill there. Oh, I can. So I'll go ahead and wait for now. Again, I just don't know where they're going to be pushing the wave from. So it's just kind of that waiting game till I know where I need to build. As I just wait, let's go ahead and start dropping some more uh, Tesla towers. I want to call them pylons. Uh, I believe that's what they're called in StarCraft. I've just kind of gotten used to that. Is it StarCraft or it's Command & Conquer? It's one of those two, but they're called pylons, and I've kind of gotten used to that. So I do apologize, guys, if it's incorrect. I know. Attention. Building completed. Uh, let's go ahead and start looking at... I need 40 wood. One worker off again for that warehouse or woodworking shop. Let's go ahead and drop another tent. Um, let's take one of these archers and in fact, I want to see how much further I can explore out here, see what I'm going to be running into. Yeah. Trying to plan ahead, see where I need to go. How much I'm going to have to clear, what troops I'm going to need. That does look like it'll be a, a big mass of zombies. Same over here. Yep, big mass of zombies. Bunch of runners, too. Uh, that's one thing I will say. If you guys are going to be clearing and stuff like that, be careful. Because if you do clear the edges of the map or press the edges of the map, there's a chance that you will get a lot of runner zombies. That was one of their updates as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, and again, as I was saying, your archers are not always the most prepared for runner zombies. I would say one-on-one, -on -one, they, they do fine, as long as you micromanage them, pull them away. I would say it's best ratio is like two archers to one running zombie. Move her back out there, and... 
go ahead I'll drop a few more huts and actually start building up my population since I've got most of this walled off so I don't have to stress about them getting to my colony better move you back down here Oh, I forgot about you four. I will actually pull you up here, move one of them down here. Let them start clearing out this way. It's so thick right there. I'm hoping hoping there's not a, another city up there. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, I've seen it happen a few times on a few maps I've been playing. Let's go ahead and throw a door right there. Uh, I'm actually just going to wall this off over here and just start clearing. Oh, with that, day eight might be our first wave, guys. Um, with that being said, guys, I do want to thank you for stopping by and watching the video. If you have any comments or concerns or suggestions or know anything more about the game than I do about what I just read in the updates, and go ahead, drop some comments, let me know. I would like to certainly get more information. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks again, and I do hope you have a good one.